Uh, my name is Paul Caldarella, and I'm a resident of Provo. Also work at Brigham Young University in the David Oman K School of Education. Um, I support the new district bond for several reasons. Um, first of all, I have children who attend, who have attended Wasatch and currently attend Wasatch Elementary. I have another child who's going to be entering Tempview High School um, next year. I've been in those schools a lot and have noticed the problems that have been found um, by the architectural engineers. Um, the teachers in the schools are great. The the uh, students are wonderful, the community is great, but the schools really do need to be rebuilt. Um, Wasatch is extremely old. Um, it's got black uh, fire suppression system. It's, um, it's got structural problems. Timpu obviously has a lot of structural problems with the sliding of the sediment and the, and the soils. I want a place where my children can be safe in school, that I feel confident when I drop them off that they're not gonna have any problems with uh, falling concrete or if there is an earthquake that they would be safe in that regard. I was on the um, district committee that recommended the the full bond um, so I was given the opportunity to tour the schools that are going to be impacted by the bond and I can tell you personally from looking at the buildings they really do need to be rebuilt. Um, all of them have um, our outdated systems or structural problems that could result in injury to staff and students if there were to be any kind of an earthquake. Also, many of the schools have problems with um, egress and entry in terms of safety, particularly from the standpoint of potential school shooters, which unfortunately our society has seen a dramatic rise in. And you know, I, I, I would really feel horrible if something like that were to happen in our community and we hadn't taken the precautions to make sure our students were safe in terms of entry and ent exit of the school in terms of visitors and uh, supervision of who's coming and going from our schools. Go to the website, look and learn about the issues for yourself. I particularly like the Frequently Asked Questions page which really almost any question you can think of um, is addressed um, by, by the, the website and by the answers that are provided by the district. Um, I can tell you that the people who have recommended this bond are the, the fellow Provo residents. Um, we all will experience the um, tax implications of the bond. The other thing I've noticed is in touring um, other schools and other districts in our uh, adjoining communities, Alpine, Nebo in particular, um, if you go to those uh, communities, you go to those districts, the schools are tend to be much newer and much nicer facilities, which um, I think just is because those communities, uh, those districts have been a bit more proactive perhaps than Provo has. I think it's time for Provo to step up and to really take care of these aging buildings um, that need to be up to standards, up to the 21st century standards in terms of safety and security of our students. I also know that from going into buildings that are newer, um, it's just a different feeling. It's a much more of a positive feeling when you go into a school with a new building. It affects the students, it affects the faculty and the staff. Everybody is lifted by a new building uh, and the community as well um, is lifted as well. So I really look forward to this bond passing. I'm very hopeful that it will pass and I encourage you to vote yes on the Provo bond.